Hey guys, welcome back. All right, in today's episode, we're gonna take a look back at a Simpsons cabinet I picked up. My original intent with it was to turn it into a TMNT. But then I thought about it, Mall. this is an original Simpsons cabinet. The artwork's not the best, but it's in decent shape. The cabinet itself needs a little bit of work, but why not just run it as a Simpsons and a TMNT? And all I'd really need to do that is a JAMA switcher, but in the past I've played with them and had some not so favorable results. As a matter of fact, it's even damaged one of my boards. But then my buddy Nick Madsen was like, there's one by this company called Riddled TV that you'll really like, and it'll allow you to safely run two games in one arcade cabinet. So oh, I was like, this oh, is a... Yeah! No, no, guys, this isn't actually like a big deal. It's just, I mean, it's cool and informative, but it's not, anybody can do this. Who the hell are these guys? Okay, so we're along backside of the Simpsons cabinet, and you'll see there's some new additions to it. You've got the Simpsons existing JAMA board here, and then you've got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles board there. So what you need to achieve this is you need a JAMA switcher, and the JAMA switcher is that device right back there. And this one's actually an eight-way switcher, so you can put eight different JAMA boards on it. And you'll see there's two ribbon cables. One ribbon cable goes to one JAMA board, which is this one right here and the other one goes to the Simpsons. So that's just the switching part of it. But then, because this is a four-player game, you need a way to map the four-player controls, and that's where this comes in. This is a little condenser board. These parts plug into your control panel, and then these plug into the actual respective game board. This is really cool, uh, and it's really simple. It's a passive device. There isn't really a whole lot of configuration. You just have to know that you're connecting the wire harnesses in the proper way. The other thing I'll show you right here is typically with these, with these kinds of switcher boards, they would use the player one and player two start buttons to switch back and forth, and this game doesn't have that. So let me go around back and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so we're around front of the control panel, and unlike a normal standard game like this one, like NARC, right? If you look at NARC, NARC has a player one and player two start button. Well, Simpsons doesn't have that. Simpsons actually, you put the coin in for the respective player you want. So if I want to play as Lisa, I would put in coins right here. So I'll show you that really quick if it doesn't, there we go. Okay, let's coin up Lisa and you can see, right? So there is no way to switch from board to board. So if I hit that, it's gonna start as Lisa, right? But if I want to switch between boards, what you would do is you'd hit both player one and two start at the same time. I don't have that luxury, so what I did is I wired a separate switch. So what I do, and I realize this cabinet needs to be cleaned up. So what you do is you hold this switch, and you'll see now it's switched to the other board. This is really clever. So what this does is this just hooks right up to the JAMA board. I wired it right in, not the JAMA board, but the switcher. It's wired right into the switcher. So as soon as I hit that switch, it's gonna boot up and switch to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is really cool. I'm very excited about this. And as you can see, if I wanna play any turtle I want, it does still map to that exact um, coin button. So if I put the coin in here, I'm gonna get Raphael. So pretty cool stuff. This is actually a way for you to run two boards. And if I'm done with turtles and I wanna go back to Simpsons, I simply, come here, press this button and hold it, and it switches you back over to The Simpsons. It's that easy, so pretty cool stuff. All right, by now you're probably really excited and you're like, I have a cabinet, I wanna run multiple JAMA boards, so I don't blame you, it's pretty damn cool. And these Riddle TV switches give you a lot of options. So I'll have a link in the description of where you can go to get these. There's an eight-way version and a two-way version, so depending on how many boards you wanna run would be which one you'd buy. Also, keep in mind that if it's like Capcom Street Fighter games, right, or Mortal Kombat Midway, you need to be aware of which condenser boards you're buying because you want to make sure the buttons are mapped correctly. Uh, and if for some reason you're confused or don't know what to purchase, you can email him and he's pretty responsive. I don't know if this is his primary business, but 
anytime I've emailed him within 24 hours, he gets back to me and he also ships fairly quickly. Now, some of his stuff is made to order. So for some reason, he doesn't have it on hand. It may take him a couple of days to produce it, but then it's off and ready to go. All right, guys, that about wraps up this video. I really like this JAMA switch solution because I'm just running out of space. And while I would prefer to have primarily a TMNT cab, the Simpsons cab is cool. I got it for a really good price and now I can run both those games and switch between them pretty easily. I just press the button and I'm good to go and everything works the way it should. So the only thing I will say about this is I would have loved to do a tutorial, but guys, it's hot as hell in here and I'm gonna say what I say to my kids or used to say when they were little. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. So with the new Turtles game, Shredder's Revenge out, this is fun to play the old one and relive the experience the way I remember it. But honestly, that Shredder's Revenge is pretty damn good, I gotta say. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, put your comments below, I wanna hear from you. I will do a more thorough tutorial of the Switcher at some point, but that's it for now, and we will see you on the next one.